Hello there everybody, welcome back for some more Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Today we're going to go ahead and go straight into Icy Peak. I think that's what it's called. Yes, Icy Peak. And I have a few things I want to say real quick before we get started. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't upload last week. If I remember correctly, I think there were some things. I was kind of like busy, I think I was just taking care of some things or something. Either that, or I just was completely lazy. I don't exactly remember, but this week, for sure, I know I'm pretty much busy, so that's why I can barely even get out some videos, but I decided since I have sat uh, Saturday to myself, I might as well just do so. Yeah, if I'm correct, I think I had some things I had to do last weekend. Yeah, I think... That, wait a minute, didn't I record the nuts and bolts spedazzle thing last weekend, too? I think so. I don't remember exactly. Basically, I don't like Icy Peak, the level, because there's something about it that just, to me, it's kind of annoying and redundant. And I think it might be like the racetrack part. There is a part where I think we're supposed to protect a ballerina, if I'm correct, or an ice skating ballerina. I, if I remember, that might, that's either this one or the second one. And I can't really exactly remember which one it was, though, to be honest. But I tend to forget where all the gems usually tend to be, and it's just more of a pain in the ass of a level. You'll, you'll see when we get to it what I'm talking about exactly. And also today, well, Monday, I've been pretty I've been pretty sick pretty much all week, and today is just basically congestion. That's all it really is. So you're gonna hear the sickness in my voice, but that's about it. The thing is like. I would have recorded yesterday, but I didn't feel like it because my friend's birthday was... Well, my best friend's birthday was on Wednesday. Yeah. And I figured, let's just do something on Friday, which was yesterday, and... You know, we did, and we hung out for a bit, and then I took him and my brother. We went and saw the new Deadpool movie, and... I liked it, so that's enough for me to say. And I also have to work tomorrow, which kind of sucks ass. You know, but... We don't have to work that many Sundays, but still, I'd rather just not do it to begin with. But, you know, it's, it's what I gotta do, right? You know, we gotta make a living somewhere, so. You're supposed to work to make a living, not live to work. That's, that's what I, you know, or live by pretty much. Well, I try to. You know, the thing is, like... I don't really like working, and I don't really like doing any of that stuff. I would just rather much... I'd rather just spend my time playing video games, pretty much, than hanging out with people and stuff like that. And, and in some cases, you know, it's a good way to kind of save money, especially if you live on your own and what have you, and if you have a good, nice job, I guess you could say, which... Mine is... Mine is enough to take care of myself and maybe one or two other people, I'd say. At least, maybe. I don't exactly know, and who knows if that's ever going to happen. But until then, we'll find out. Oh, piss. Come on, hurry up. One of these days, I would like to have... Well, see, the thing is, I've been trying to get my... Well, I don't really want to say, because I don't really want to watch these videos or something like that. You know, and be like, what the fuck? Are you talking about me, bitch? I'm like, well, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> well... A couple weeks ago, you know, I asked if my sister could probably come over and hang out with me. If she wanted to come over and hang out with me. But I didn't get really a response, so I figured that was probably just a no. <laughs> no on that one. I don't really know exactly for sure if that's really what it was, but who knows. And uh, I kind of had this thought in my head. I'm like, man, wouldn't it be pretty cool, you know, having like fucking... She comes over and like... I could do like a recording with her or something like that. That'd be pretty tight, you know. Have her guest star in one of these videos, which would be pretty nice. We're we're pretty much close. The thing is, like, I feel like I might have pissed her off, but at the same time, I don't think I did. I don't exactly know. I mean, I tend to piss off everybody, so it's it's no big deal there. I think we're supposed to go from there to get there, but I don't exactly remember how to get up there. I uh, shays uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't exactly remember how to get up there, though. See, so, yeah, there would have... 
been a guest a few weeks ago if yeah, she would have said yes to all that stuff. But that's not going to happen. I guess CoCom, I guess you could say. And then I thought, like, oh, maybe I could have David join up for, like, Friday. You know, he comes over here when he out. Maybe I'll record that way. Just have my videos, you know, and what have you. But then I decided, nah, what the hell, why not? It, you know, or what the hell, why, why even bother, really? Mess with all that stuff. We just decided to go to his house, and I actually had some fun. You know, we're watching a Street Fighter Five live stream playing Smash, which is kind of odd, because, like, I didn't really want to play Smash, but at the same time, I kind of did. Because, like, it, it's typically one of the things that it, it's just best to play, you know, when you're hanging out with friends and what have you. I actually do not remember how to get up to that stupid ass platform. I think there's another way around to it. Just right now, I can't seem to remember exactly. Unless there's something in the beginning or what. Die. I don't. I don't typically do like guest star cocoms very much. Not like they end up bad or anything. It's just like, well, back then, they were a lot harder to do. Well, not really harder, but they just there's a lot of things you had to put into to work with, and especially having a crappy mic, you know, it doesn't make anything better, obviously. Yeah, one thing that does annoy me about this level particularly is these stupid ass birds. But it's so weird. Like I feel so nice when I shoot one down. Like it feels so good, you know. It's like yes, I killed one off. Thank God. They just get they just get in your way and they just get annoying. All right, so let's fly over to here. And again, like I said, I don't think there's anything we need to fly over to. I could have sworn there was a way to get... Well, there's obviously a way to get everywhere because they can't just put this super specific thing to not get to in here and not allow you to get to it. That would just be kind of stupid, you know what I mean? But who knows? I mean, they could do that, but at the same time, it's like, what if somebody wants to beat the game? Well, then you know how people are. They'll be like... Well, we couldn't beat it, so we might as well just like readapt and just pretend like we couldn't do it to begin with and just call that 100%. So, yeah, watch out there, game designers. We got. We know what's going on here. I don't remember exactly which one this one was. Was this the one? Yeah, this is the racetrack one. Alright, basically, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to ta uh, chase down these thieves, but, as you would know, chasing down thieves is kind of a pain in the ass. Now, when you get on this track right here, there's going to be a little steel chest inside, so go ahead and break that down. And grab you on one eye. I think there's something else we can, like, go to. I think we have to fly to something else! Christ. Ah! My god. Well, I lost where he went, so it's alright. There's, I think, something else we're supposed to go to, too. I just can't think of it. I can't think of it on the top of my head right now. If I'm correct, I think Sparrow actually technically runs a little bit fast. There it is. I think he runs a little bit faster than the thieves in general. Cause like the thieves will stay in one particular like straight line. Oh yeah, you can double back to that. All right, come on, come on, got him. All right, sweet, we got that one down. And now we got this next one to take care of real quick. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and charge my way to that little flying platform. That way I can get the gems and get them over with. Let's go fly up there real quick. It was. Right here. Yes, that's right. Um, I think there might be like one more, maybe. Oh, oh shit! I did grab the five. Okay. I, I I did see the five and the one. I was thinking. I was hoping like I hope I get I hope I get this. It's five here. All right, grab these real quick. Again, like I said, sorry if it sounds like I'm not particularly interested in what I'm doing right now. I am. I'm actually not having really much of a bad time doing this recording. It's just like I said, I have congestion going on, so. I'm going to go ahead and record probably like a few videos worth of footage. I would like to though. If I'm correct, I think this thief stays on the same route every time. I think so. Typically they do. This this one just kind of sucks more. And for some reason, like this guy is a little bit faster, it feels like. Oh no, he changed route. Alright. So he's random where he's going to go, I guess. So it's just more like, uh, you know, pay attention to where you think he might go. Well, okay, don't go where you think he's going to go. But, like, pay attention to, like, any route changes or anything like that. Just, yeah, see right there? He tried to jit me right there. He tried to pretend like he was going to go to the left. But then he turned went to the right instead. 
Oh my god. Piss. Ah! Fucking A. Oh well. Also, what happened this week is Thursday night. I was up to like 2 o'clock in the morning playing with one of my friends I work with. And, uh. You know, we're trying out that division beta or whatever. At first, like for the first hour, we're trying to figure out how to freaking join each other's match. And for some reason, there was some glitch going on with our. Not our system, but like the game itself. Like it wouldn't let us join each other. And we finally figured it out. We turned off our. Well. We closed out our games, and then we went back in, and everything worked out just fine. But it was so weird, you know, like, why would it even do that to begin with? It's beyond me. As far as I'm concerned, I think we have everything here. I think so. I mean, yeah, there's a way you can, like, just double back and check, but I think that's it with that. The ballerina part's not hard or anything like that. It's not really annoying. It's just, like, sometimes I slip up, and, you know, I'll miss burning one of the guy's butts. So that's what, typically when I think about this level, I think about that particular area. And I think this might be the way we're supposed to go to get that, um, those other gems that we need. The good thing is when you shoot these birds down, the gems actually come fly towards you, which is nice. Uh, hang on real quick. So I'll grab that egg before we head off or anything like that. Give me the damn egg so I don't have to do all this stuff again. We have shit. It's not shit, it's shit. <laughs> Alright, now you can use your little gondola here. Um, oh, about fell off there for a second. Actually, before we do all that platforming stuff, let's go talk to Moneybags real quick and get this door open. Pay 500 gems for that son of a bitch. Pay 500 gems for that son of a bitch right there. The top, you know what I'm talking about. All right, now, now. <laughs> okay. So yeah, here's a little ice skating ballerina lady, Nancy. Basically, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to protect her from these mean, big old thugs. The thing is, these guys will actually show up in a specific order, in a specific pattern. So, like, if you remember, or if you remember where they all come from, then you pretty much got it down. The good thing is, you can typically see from the reflection of the ice, you know, where they're coming from, maybe. But... Yeah, this is kind of like, it reminds me of that thing from Spyro 2 where you had to do the hockey puck deal. Where you had to, where you had to play hockey. Which actually was kind of fun. I mean, in a sense. See, I'm keeping my eyes on the guy up there. The thing is, like, I, I typically get stuck on her. Like, I, I run into her and I get stuck! And then, as you see, point proven, you get stuck on her. And then you blow your fire. And then it just hits her instead. So basically, you can't you know, shoot fire through her. I mean, it's just like it'll hit her, and she's protected by it, of course. But man, it's a pain in the ass. Thank goodness Spyro can just breathe fire as much as he wants. You no, know, that is such a crazy ability. But the funny thing is, like, you get so used to like Spyro in general, it's just like you don't really think about it. Him breathing fire like that. And yeah, the graphic for it doesn't really look all that amazing or anything, but still. Stop, you son of a bitch! God, these guys are <laughs> annoying. Ugh. See, and also the ice faces don't really help here either. Like, they're not extremely bad or really, really hefty or anything like that, but man, they get really annoying. Okay. So just keep my eyes on those doors. That's typically what I like to do. Like I say, I think one comes from this way. And then we got another one here. Any more? Is that it? I think. I hope that's it. That's it? Alright, sweet. I don't know what... Okay, so there's people throwing roses at her, but there's nobody that wants to help her out without, you know, with her getting hit by those hockey players, apparently. So we got Cerny. What kind of name is that? Never heard that name before in my life. Um, is that it? Let's check the Alice to make sure, because I, how are we missing one egg? Glide the... Oh, pfft. Okay, so that's it for the uh, Nancy part. We're done with her. So we're done with all the extra parts of the levels. The sad thing is, like, when I think of Spyro 3, I think of these these gateways. And I just kind of cringe on the inside, thinking, like, oh, I don't really like those levels. Like, those extra levels that you, you have to go to sometimes. But that's just me in particular. I, I don't know, like, these aren't really bad levels or anything like that. They're just, I don't know how to explain it. Some of them are just... The ones that are just bad usually outweigh the good ones. Which is unfair to say, of course. 
it's completely unfair to say because there's actually more good levels than there are bad levels. But at the same token, it's like, you know, it's hard not to think of those, I guess you could say. We got Reese. So we got all the eggs here. Do we have all the gems too? Yes, we do. We're getting the fuck out of this level. It's funny, like, I think I've said that, like, every single time. Whenever we beat a level, I'm like, all right, we're getting the hell out of here because to hell with this level. <laughs> uh, basically, Midday Garden, in my opinion, has some of the most annoying levels in the game. So, as far as I'm concerned, we've done everything here that I need to do. Except for the obvious, you know, well, missing. Hang on, let's go back to Spooky Swamp. Because I, I did look up where how to get it. And if I'm correct, somebody said there was some kind of like brick wall near the eggs or whatever. Like right behind it or something like that. So we're going to go over there real quick and take that get that taken care of. Were we also missing a speedway, I think? Did we not do the speedway here? I could have sworn we did. No, well the only speedway I remember doing was the mushroom one. So maybe we didn't do that one just yet either. It'd be nice if I could like double back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the shield part. Alright, sweet. Okay, so let's go over here real quick and get that 25 gem. Like, I don't exactly know how to get that gem particularly. Like, somebody said, you just gotta go around this specific this specific door or something. And, yeah. There'd, there'd be like this really obvious brick in the wall. It's like, what? That wasn't obvious. That's bullshit. <laughs> That, if it was obvious, I probably would have broken it, right? You would think so. Watch, it's probably going to be, like, clear as day right in front of my freaking face. Just imagine this. What the fuck? Well, where is it? Where is this? Oh. Oh. That wasn't clear as day. That's a bunch of bullshit. Well, we're done with that one. So we're done with this level for good. Finally. So yeah, so fuck Spooky Swamp. That didn't really look like the kind of door, I don't know, it just looked like a regular placed wall. Not, you know, just a natural placed wall from somebody else. I don't know exactly how this went. Shut up, Spiny or Sparky or whatever your name just was. Uh, let's see, we gotta do Country Speedway. Bamboo Terrace obviously needs to be finished up. And Spikes Arena. Okay, so let's go do the Country Speed. Let's go do the Contra Speedway. We'll have to get that taken care of. And then, of course, there's uh, the Sparks level, but I don't think Zoe's up there. No. Zoe is usually up there when you defeat the boss, I think that's how she works. I think so. I don't exactly particularly know either. Uh, yeah. Also, yesterday, well, I went out and took my friend, you know, go get him a game or whatever for his birthday, and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get me one too. You know, not to be an asshole, I'm just saying, like, that's what we usually do. And I bought Batman Arkham Knight for the first time, and wow, just... I'm actually kind of impressed with it a little bit. I mean, the vehicles... The Batmobile is more annoying to deal with than I thought it was going to be. It's more of just like... it. You know, using it for the puzzles just doesn't really work out for me. I don't particularly like using, you know, vehicles for puzzles or anything like that in games. Unless it's just like a simple, you know, maybe like RC car or something. Hold on, we need to restart this up. We need to restart that because I fucked up hard. Usually if you fuck up enough, you know, you can come back and fix it. But it, that was one of those kinds of fuck ups where I just was not coming back. What I like to do, you know, is I like to go back. Uh, that's not going to work because there's not enough people. Well, I guess we can't do it here now, can we? I was going to say... I like to go back and hit the uh, hit the guys from the you know from the front rather than the back. But I think what they want you to do, I think they want you to hit them from the back, which is kind of hard. There we go. All right, we got him. That's sweet. Okay, come on, come on. These guys are kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. There we go. I didn't mean to do square. I meant to do circle, but then I just kind of lost my mind there for a second. All right, so we're gonna take out these French-looking cows because they wear barrettes or whatever they call them. Those fancy, fancy hats. Damn, we got like 25 gems for a piece for these little bitches. All right, we'll take them down. 
Uh, and yes, I do know where Hunter's at. I think he's actually in that barn, if I'm correct. It's funny how I say, like, oh, I know where he's at, and then I'm like, I think I know. <laughs> no, like, I, I've found it before. I've done this game, you know, plenty of times to find him. And, you know, if even if I didn't remember, I could probably easily find him, more than likely. He wouldn't technically be necessarily that hard to find. Now, here's the annoying part. Actually, no, what the hell is that? Um, we can either do the fun part, which is... We got Gavin. We can do either the fun part, or we can do... Race the biplanes. I guess we'll just do that one real quick, get that one out of the way. And yes, I will do another video after this. I might do more than like just two videos today. I might do like three or four. Depends on my mood, I guess. I do need to get my laundry done, folks. So I need to like get off my fat ass and actually do something today. You know, before tomorrow arrives all of a sudden. The thing is like when it comes to like working Sundays, you know, it's like the days go by pretty quick. Like the day goes by extremely quick cuz like on a normal Sunday, you know, morning, like, afternoon, I'm just sitting there pretty much all day doing jack shit. Thinking to myself, like, God damn it, I gotta go to work tomorrow. <laughs> and then now, like, it's Saturday. And it's like, I'm already used to, like, not thinking about it on Saturdays. And now it's like, you know, it's just like another normal day to me. It's kind of, I don't know, my mentality is kind of weird. I... I'm just a weird person, I guess you could say. Whoa, piss! Oh, I about hit that. That wasn't very good. Uh, let's see here. Let's fly. Come on, hurry up, Spyro. Hurry the hell up. I just want to go, like, shoot this guy down already. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh this ain't good. Well, the thing is, we're already on the second lap, aren't we? Well, son of a bitch. Alright. Oh, yes, and by the way, you can, like, you know, shoot them with regular fire, by the way, of course. I didn't want to have to use my missile on him, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And I actually- what the fuck? Okay, fuck you, dude. Seriously. Do you see that little bitch? You see what he just did? Okay. Wait, wh where's the next one at? How far ahead is this queer? Oh my god, are you kidding me? And then I missed, of course. Son of a bitch, where is he? We might lose. Yeah, we might actually lose this. The good thing is the flight controls are not that bad. Wh how far is this guy? He is. He must be like way up there because there's no way in hell I can see him. Usually, like when I do, there he is. But, like usually when I do this, you know I catch up pretty well. You would think. If I'm correct. I think the missiles do home in. So that one's gonna fucking miss, and he's gonna win. I know he is. He's being a little bitch is what he's being. Okay, so yeah, you gotta make the choice. Do you wanna like go fast or do you wanna shoot him down with a rocket? But it's such a hard choice considering the fact that, you know, these assholes are so freaking fast anyway. Whoa, 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 okay. We might not make this. This might be the end of the Yep, that's the end of this race. I fucked up. Hey. Try it one more time. This is retarded. Clearly, I should have won. <laughs> well, the, okay, the problem is, like, the flight controls are nice, but when you have to go, like, really, really fast, for some reason, like, you just, like, jerk out, and it's just really hard to get back on track. Sometimes, like, as you can see there, like, sometimes I'll fly, and, like, it'll be really, really hard for me. It'll feel a little bit jerky to kind of, like, want to push myself up or, or push myself down or whatever. Well, we're catching up rather quickly now. See, the thing is, like, do I want to take this? This little flight pad here? Or a speed boost thing? Like, it's just, it's just right there. But, at the same time, like I was explaining to you guys a second ago, you know, the flight controls, to me, are not really that good. The thing is, like, I don't know if it really matters if you hit both of them, uh, the flight pads or not, because, like, typically, these jackasses will go faster than you anyway. The good thing is, they don't always go to the extra ones. There's always extra ones there for Spyro to hit, which is good. Which I probably should have hit that one, but oh well. You know, the crazy thing is, I don't want to say it, but obviously Mario, you know, started the whole, like, cart thing anyway. I believe. And, uh... 
Crash had basically a kart racing game. So pretty much what I'm getting at right now is like, what if Spyro had a kart racer? Well, not really a kart racing game, but like more like a flying game or whatever. Like you, or what if there was like a Diddy Kong's Racing style game, where like you can fly or you can race in a kart or whatever, you know. Whatever the case may be. Son of a bitch! I keep missing all these stupid light paths. I'm gonna fuck up. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? How am I missing all these? Okay, come on. I clipped through the damn thing. So obviously this guy who's in first is practically taking all the extreme measures of flying. He's taken every single flight boost pad thing. I'm going to try to shoot him now. Because last time I tried to shoot him, it didn't really work out particularly very well. Now did it. Okay. So we have one extra up on him. Come on. Where the fuck is he? He is like way up there. There's no possible way. Okay. Come on. I need it. He's going to fucking win again. <laughs> this is fucking bullshit, people. What am I doing wrong? Oh, it's because you're not hitting the flight pad. correct. The hell with this then. All right, fine. I will see you all in the next uh, video, and or I could probably just do this again now. God damn it! No, no, we're trying again. Fuck this level. I will see you all next time in the next video. And we'll do the race one more time, see what happens, and then we'll do uh, Hunter. If we can get this damn race done, and as always, take care, everybody.